the charred enemies, and especially fire and plasma, which do an astounding 20% extra damage to charred enemies. All of these interactions give explosion magic great combo potential, making it a great second magic, but an even better first magic. When using explosion magic as your first magic, you'll want to either use ash, fire and plasma as your second magic as they can all react off of each other. Even though magma can react with explosion for an extra 10% damage, it cannot be used to petrify enemies which is the main reaction you'll be using explosion for, and so you should avoid it. When you hit a charred opponent with ash, fire or plasma, they will immediately become petrified. Petrification freezes an enemy in place. You can tell someone has been petrified as a prompt will appear saying petrified and they will turn into a grey statue. Ash can also petrify on its own if you hit an enemy for either 33% or more of their health in a single hit. However, you won't regularly petrify enemies in this way. This is only effective against low health enemies who you can actually do 33% or more damage to. You rarely will ever directly petrify bosses and other players. Anyways, to help you decide whether you should choose Ash, Fire or Plasma, I will quickly discuss each magic. Ash magic is the largest of the three. It does the most damage in a single hit. It does not apply a status effect like Scorch or Burn, meaning it has less combo potential, unable to directly buff the damage of your explosion magic. Your magic attacks leave behind ash clouds that linger around for some time and do much more damage over time than fire and plasma, but only if the enemy is inside the ash cloud. It can also immediately petrify an enemy if you do 33% or more of their health as damage in a single hit. Overall, use Ash if you want to mainly spam explosion magic and only use your second magic once in a while to activate petrify against charred enemies, or if you want to have better area denial from the lingering clouds. Explosion magic greatly benefits from having a lot of attack size to make the explosions bigger, which greatly synergizes with Ash, making the Ash clouds bigger too. Ash magic also has a much larger size than fire and plasma, meaning you can easily hit more of your attacks to petrify enemies. Plasma magic deals the lowest damage in a single hit, but does the most damage over 3 seconds once Scorch does all of its damage. It has better combo potential as explosion magic does 10% more damage to Scorched opponents which you can consistently apply. It deals 20% more damage to charred enemies and 5% more damage to Scorched opponents. You can also petrify an enemy and apply Scorch in a single hit. Overall, use Plasma if you want to constantly combo your second magic with your first magic and directly apply good damage over time to your opponents. Fire does slightly more damage in a single hit than Plasma and applies Burn, which lasts 5 seconds instead of 3 like Scorch. It also has better combo potential as Explosion Magic does 10% more damage to burning enemies which you can consistently apply. It deals 20% more damage to charred enemies and deals 5% more damage to burning enemies. Overall use Fire if you want to mainly spam your Explosion Magic and buff its damage. As the burning status effect lasts for 5 seconds instead of 3, you have more time to spam your Explosion Magic and don't need to worry about constantly swapping to Fire to apply burn. So to summarize again, use Ash for better build synergy and area control and use Plasma or Fire if you want to consistently combo with your Explosion Magic. Plasma does more damage than Fire but you'll need to constantly swap to Plasma to apply Scorch. Even though petrification is the main reaction you want to go for with Explosion, be careful as when you do petrify an enemy it doesn't last long at all, meaning you might not even be able to get an Explosion hit off and do the 20% extra damage with Explosion against petrified enemies. Because of this, you might want to have some intensity in your build. The more intensity in your build, the longer petrification will last. Of course you can obviously go for as much power as possible. Explosion magic is already a high damaging magic, meaning power will make it do annoyingly high damage numbers that feel unfair. But try to have some attack size in your build to make the most of its huge area of effect. That being said, Explosion Magic has a slow attack speed, 
meaning you might want to have some attack speed in your build. However, this is not necessary at all, as your damage and AoE make up for this. You can also counteract this slow attack speed by constantly swapping between your first and second magic on each attack. Here are a few final pieces of information about Explosion. It has 12 clash advantages and 3 clash disadvantages against lightning, plasma and metal. The charred status effect partially obscures your opponent's vision, and it creates an explosion upon clashing with poison. Explosion magic cannot be used underwater and neither can ash, fire or plasma, meaning your entire build will be useless underwater. However, if you are swimming on the surface of the water, you can shoot out of it and use your leap ability to jump out of it. But if you use any ability on any of these magics underwater or shoot at water, it will evaporate. I personally have been using Explosion and Ash, and after testing Explosion and Plasma for some time now, I am going to continue to use Explosion and Ash. When it comes to Explosion and Plasma, even though the damage is technically higher, it is only higher by a small amount and it isn't really noticeable. It is also tiring to constantly swap between Explosion and Plasma to constantly combo to make the most of the higher damage potential especially when Plasma Magic is noticeably smaller than Ash and easier to miss, which can be quite punishing to your damage potential. Scorch only lasts 3 seconds, meaning you don't really have much time to combo for the extra 10% more explosion damage against Scorched opponents. I am also sticking with Ash, as it has better build synergy, the same stats that greatly benefit Explosion also greatly benefit Ash, meaning I can purely build around my Explosions, making them bigger and more damaging, and have my Ash Clouds also be bigger and more damaging as a result. That being said, it really is just up to your preference which of the three you choose. If you are purely looking for the most damage possible then go for Explosion and Plasma, and if you are stuck choosing between Fire and Plasma, choose Plasma, but if you prefer Fire, then obviously choose it. That's all for this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like these. If you have any questions or want me to showcase a build, make sure to comment below. See you in the next one guys.